Here are the steps to take to help your students get their Screencastify video uploaded to Flipgrid so that it can be shared with others. The first step is to go into their Google Drive. To get to Google Drive, you're going to click on the waffle and Google Drive. And then you're going to need to find the student's Screencastify folder. Mine is in another folder, but you're going to have a folder that says Screencastify. And when you open it up, it's going to have all the recordings that have been made through Screencastify. You're going to choose one, and on a Chromebook, you're going to do the two-finger tap or right-click on it and choose Download. Now, on a desktop or a laptop, it's going to download, and it's going to sit down here at the bottom. On a Chromebook, it's going to sit over here on the opposite side, and it will be found in your files. Once it's complete, you're ready to move to Flipgrid. So you're going to give your kids the Flipgrid topic code, which is found right here. And you'll have your own specific code for your Flipgrid, but it will look similar to this. The students are going to scroll down and find the plus sign. Tap to record. But instead of recording in Flipgrid this time, we're going to click on Options and choose Import Video. Now we can click on Import Video and you're going to find where your video is at. Um, the screen that pulls up will look different than this on a Chromebook, but it will take you to your files. You'll choose the video and click Open. And there's our video. They can watch through it and see if it's right, but if they have the right one, then they'll know it's right. They can click Next. And then they're going to select a frame for the selfie. So you can move through the parts of the video and find what frame you want it to be to be your picture. I'm going to stick mine at the very beginning. Yeah, I like that. And then they're going to click Next. And they can decorate it with stickers if they want to, just like they would their regular selfies. Or they can draw, just like they would their regular selfies. And then when they're done, they click Submit. And that's it. Their video is there. So when you get finished, all of the kids' videos will sit here side by side. They will have already be logged in, so it will have their name on it and the picture that they took from the middle of their video. To be able to share this with the other classes, you're going to go back to your educator dashboard and you're going to click add topic guests up at the top. And when you do that, you're going to say that anybody in guest mode with the code can view videos in this topic. But we don't want them to record videos. We just want them to be able to watch the videos that your students have made. And here is the link that you're going to send to the teachers or to the parents that you want to share your videos with. The link is here. You can copy it and email it, or you can download the QR code, print it off, and put it in the hallway and let people scan it with their phones, or you can send it home to parents.